the, the, that thing where they were putting ashes. The Bible says from that time on, he became leprous. The leprous came everywhere. And they took him and put him outside the camp. But a lot of people like that. You know, those two leprosies, those, those who went to, I think we preach upon it, those who went to, 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 to the camp of uh, Philistine. In the Bible, every person who was discovered that he's got a leprous, God told the children of Israel, don't even eat with him. Don't approach him. Yes, people today they okay, no, maybe speaking to us. I just said, yes, because the law, in the law of God is wisdom. The law of God is if brother, I don't know. When you are living only, when God was telling the children of Israel, you can you can be more than a doctor. I don't know. <laughs> you know, people are talking today with MRC, whatever, they're talking about infection, but, but God told them. Infection control, but go to the Bible to see infection control. The right one. How to keep the, 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 the vessels. Even the blood test, which this kind of vessel, where you have to put them? How you have to treat those things? How you have to wash them? And, brother, God was, God is, is nervous. He told them everything. Even when you put your, when you go to toilets, how you have to wake up, you have to put it. God spoke to the children of Israel. In the other way, in here on earth, there were not people who were wise. If I can say wise, wisdom comes from God. Mm-hmm. Amen. People how come all these people are together? And there's no dissenter among them. There's no corner among them. Now, how, how, what's our demanding? But they will follow what God told them. Okay, that's not our subject today. You are talking about leprosy. Those people, they were cast out. They were the most vulnerable people on earth. They were the most, I don't know, uh, they were crying every day. They were in pain. Can you imagine? Your parents are living somewhere. Your wife are living somewhere. You, you, because they found that you've got the leprosy, they just cast you out. You can't approach the car. You can't approach your family. You can't, you can't approach the community. Because of what the condition which you are, because of the, what is happening, what is in your body, and the Bible says no one could approach them. If you approach them, you are not going to enter the camp. Suppose if you went there just to make a service, or maybe say, okay, I've just come today to visit to bring you this cloth. If you approach them, you have to leave the outside the camp also until when the the, the empress has to declare you pure, so you can enter. And these people were living in those conditions every day. Day and night. It was a burden. It was, I don't know what I said, you can just put yourself in that, in, in, those, in the shoes of those people. They were there. Oh, today is what Monday. Ah, they could they sit there outside? Hey, the people there. Oh, no, I wish I could be also. Me also could be among them. I wish me also could do what they are doing. I wish me also. And one day, one day, they told them that there's somebody who's got the power to heal all diseases. They heard about this man of God. They heard about Jesus Christ. Because when you read in Luke chapter 4, the Bible said this. Let us just read quickly there. Luke chapter 4. What the Bible is telling us? Luke chapter 4. He said, the Bible says this. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the desert. Wherefore, for for the days he was tempted by the devil, he ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was hungry. The devil was, uh, he just uh, he just jumped there. Where do I do? I want to just read something there quickly. And 
everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he, he went into the synagogue as was his custom. And he stood up to read the scroll of this prophet Isaiah was under to him. And all he he found the place where it's written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and the recovery of sight for the blind and to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendants and sat down. When Jesus entered, when Jesus started his ministry, people learned about it. And whenever he was going, brother and sister, the work of God is not something secret. What you are doing here, if it becomes secret, that is dangerous. The work of God is not a secret. What you believe is not a secret. It must be published. What is my, my brother and sister, let's listen. If there's something which is secret, it's witchcraft. Amen. Did you? 